Hi guys, so I'm in Bermuda now and over the next few days I'm going to try to film bits and pieces of my trip so you guys can see what Bermuda's like. So today I'm headed to Shelly Bay. Um, I just had to come inside because I was like too hot outside. I'm going to get a drink of water and then I'm going to go. just need to take a break. I am not used to this heat. Um, I'm going to go to this beach called Shelly Bay and it's a really good beach for babies and children it's probably the best beach in Bermuda if you have very, very small children because it doesn't get rough um, unless there's like a lot of boots around but it very rarely gets rough and sometimes you can walk far out and you're still not up to your thighs um, it's really shallow a lot of the times but um yeah so that's the one I'm going to it's not my favorite beach it's probably my least favorite beach but because it's in walking distance I'm gonna go there my favorite beach I would say is Horseshoe um, just because it's big, it's gorgeous. If you ever see like postcards of Bermuda, it's usually Horseshoe Bay um, that they have on the thing. You can Google it. Oh my god, you guys, it's so pretty. Google Horseshoe Bay Bermuda. <sighs> okay, so I'm on the way. I'm just gonna go up this little cliff here and show you the view. Over there across the way is Dockyard, and that's actually where all the cruise ships that come into Bermuda dock and um yeah so now i'm gonna continue on with my journey the thing is <laughs> i don't have anyone to come with me so i'm not gonna be able to swim right now i'll probably have to come back and take my um drop off my camera because obviously i can't just leave my camera on the beach but um yeah that's a cute little view That's the path that I'm walking along. Hey, we're here. I'm sweating so much. Oh my god. So, I'll give you a look. I'm gonna put my feet in. Let's not drop the camera. That would be bad. So, another Bermuda fact of the day is, like, I would say 80% of the time if you hear a Bermudian beeping their car horn, it's not telling you to hurry up or move, they're not being rude, it's actually quite the opposite, they're usually saying hello to people or saying thank you, like if someone lets you out <clears throat> of like a driveway or a gate or something, we always toot our horn, whether on a bike or on um, or in a car. What I just walked along was the Bermuda Railway Trail. There's a lot of these in Bermuda and basically um, we used to have trains in Bermuda way back. I think they got rid of them in the 40s or 50s. So my grandma remembers them and I think my great uncle used to walk on the trains but they got rid of them but we still have like these little paths and so people use them for exercise or just to stay off the road um, when they're walking and stuff. So they're quite handy. I don't know if I tell you guys, but I'm actually back in Bermuda for Cup Match, which is like our biggest event of the year. <laughs> um, it's a national holiday and it's basically all about cricket. As you can see, people really get into it. Um, what I just showed you on the other car was one team and that blue and blue is another team. <laughs> so it's like our national sport. People get really into it. Like people take it so seriously. It's really funny. I don't even know if you can see me right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Over there are banana trees. These are our traditional moon gates. A lot of Bermuda houses have them. And um, I really like this view over here. So today is Sunday and on Sundays in Bermuda we have codfish breakfast. This is a traditional Bermudian breakfast. So we have codfish, potato, banana and some tomato sauce. Normally I would cover everything in the tomato sauce over there but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, some people even add avocado and a boiled egg but this is what we have today. So it's really yummy. It doesn't look like much but it's really tasty.
but anyway, just looking at stuff. Zoom in. I'm gonna get this crayon concealer. I'm looking for something for my mom. Um, this is called One Size Fits All. I, mean, I think that's too light for her. But these are pretty sheer anyway, so it doesn't matter. And we have Assy now. I can't believe we have Assy in front of us. So cool. Hello again. So I'm here with my lovely Carl friends in the background. I love Carl so much. I think they're so cute. I would love to own one one day. It makes me sad that these are probably going to become food. Earlier it was kind of gloomy but it's brightening up and some people are swimming down there. So yeah. We're going to go get some sushi now. Windy road. My grandpa was born somewhere around here in a house. This is a department store, and you can see that even they got in the cut match spirit. You can see the two different team colors here. <laughs> If you ever come to Bermuda, you must get a Art Mouse fish sandwich. They're absolutely massive. And university students and people that have been off the island for a while always post Facebook statuses saying they wish they could get these sandwiches because they're just something you really miss when you haven't had them for a while. They're just so yummy. So. They're in kind of a hidden area, you have to ask someone, but like, oh my god, look at this. Look at this. So big. So I'm going to share this with my mom because one of these, one like one half is equal to like one sandwich basically. It's huge. to get one last swim so I'm at the beach <laughs> Bermuda. 